Hi, I'm Ken from Orion, and this is the XX12i, or Intelliscope, Dobsonian. It's a 12-inch reflector on a Dobsonian base, and it's a little different than your average Dob uh, for two reasons. First, uh, the trusses. Uh, the trusses allow you to break this thing down into smaller pieces. Just imagine a 12-inch closed tube. Try getting that inside your car. It's probably not going to fit. Well, the trusses come off, and now you've got three or four small pieces that will fit in even the smallest of cars. Uh, the other reason this is a little different than your average daub is the Intelliscope system. Punch in what you want to see into the hand controller and it will direct you uh, to manually move the scope in whatever direction to go to the object that you want to see. So it tells you exactly where in the sky anything is. It comes with two eyepieces, a 35 millimeter two inch and a 10 millimeter inch and a quarter. Uh, a finder scope, a 9x50 finder. And one of my favorite features of the telescope is the dual speed Crayford focuser. It's got a coarse focus and then an 11 to 1 reduction gear allowing you to do very fine focusing, especially at high power. Now a 12 inch scope like this can see a, a ton of deep sky objects. I mean 12 inches pulls in so much light you have the ability to see thousands of deep sky objects. Nebulae, galaxies, um, star clusters, much more than just the 110 Messier objects. And then it's also got a lot of resolution for planets, so rings of Saturn, cloud belts on Jupiter, uh, there's a lot to see with a telescope of this size. Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes, and this is the XT10G, or go-to, uh, Dobsonian telescope. Uh, first off, it's a 10-inch reflector on a Dobsonian base, and it works like any Dobsonian in that you move it up and down, left and right, to, to point. But this has the added ability of be being fully go-to. So you punch into the hand controller down here what you want to see, and it will robotically go to the object, find it, center it, and then continue to track it. Uh, throughout the night sky. So this is really not your average Dobsonian. It's got uh, a little bit extra uh, under the hood. Uh, a 10-inch telescope can see all sorts of faint deep sky objects, the Orion Nebula, the Andromeda Galaxy, thousands of the NGCs, which are fainter deep sky objects, as well as the moon and planets. The rings of Saturn come out in very good detail. Uh, the um, uh, clouds on Jupiter are, uh, are, are, are seen very easily with something like this. And since it is a tracking system, you don't have to continually nudge it to follow like you would a normal Dobsonian. It comes with a couple of accessories. An Easy Finder 2, which is a reflex sight, helps you to align to the initial uh, two-star alignment or however you're going to do your alignment. You get two eyepieces, a 28 millimeter 2 inch and a 12 and a half millimeter inch and a quarter illuminated plossal to help center the stars in the, uh, in the crosshair. The focus is quite nice. It's a dual speed. You uh, have an 11 to 1 reduction gear here. Crayford focuser, so you get nice smooth motions. And then the, uh, the computer that comes with it gives you f over 42,000 objects in the database uh, to, to search and find. So a 10-inch Dobsonian, I, I say the Dobsonians are the best bang for the buck, and this is every bit as good bang for the buck, only you get the extras with a full go-to system. Hi everyone, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion X-T8 Plus Telescope. It looks a little different than our normal Dobsonians, and there's a good reason for that. Uh, it, it's based on the classic 8-inch telescope, but we've added some new features and some accessories. So I wanted to go through some of that with you and let you know what's new about this one. Uh, first off is the color. Instead of our normal black uh, for the classics, we've added this metallic twilight blue uh, paint job. I think it's a little more elegant and, and uh, gets away from that standard, like I said, black uh, color scheme we've had in the past. We've added a two inch focuser that uses a 11 to one reduction gear. So you've got coarse focus here and then fine focus here for when you wanna really fine tune the position of the eyepiece for, for a very critical focus. If you look down on the side, the uh, tension is a little different. Our classic 
XD8 used a spring. Well, we, we modified this and use now the uh, uh, adjustment knob from the telescope. So you can fine tune the tension when you move the telescope up and down to, to suit your needs. On the very bottom, you can see the white strip that we've put around the uh, outside of the base. That's a, a little accent strip, but it works as a visibility strip at night. Uh, at night when you're looking, uh, w when you're at a star party and everything's very dark, it's sometimes hard to see the telescope. So the strip actually makes it easier to see so you don't accidentally bump the telescope with your foot or when people are walking around. Uh, just a little more convenient to, uh, to see the telescope at night. And then uh, we've got some accessories as well that we've included with the telescope. First off, we've included a 28 millimeter two inch eyepiece. And then if you look down here, we've got the 10 millimeter high magnification eyepiece. Also a Barlow lens. This will double the power of that 10 and really zoom you in on the, uh, on the objects that you're looking at. And then some standard accessories, an inch and a quarter uh, collimation cap to help the alignment. And then a two to one and a quarter uh, adapter so you can switch between the, the two inch eyepiece and the inch and a quarter eyepiece. And they all sit inside a, uh, an eyepiece rack. This is a, uh, an eyepiece rack with a two inch hole and then three inch and a quarter holes so all of your accessories can fit. And then something different, we also include a solar filter. Now, not only can you use the telescope at night to look at all those faint deep sky objects, but uh, you can use this during the day to look at the sun, not lose any sleep, and uh, see the sunspots, some of the granulation around the, the sunspots themselves. Uh, a nice uh, accessory to use with a telescope. And then speaking of, the, the, the telescope itself, 8 inches sucks in a lot of light. So you can use it for not only moon and planets, the rings of Saturn look amazing, uh, cloud bands on Jupiter, but this pulls in so much light you can see all those faint objects in the sky. Not only the, the showpiece objects like the Orion Nebula or the Andromeda Galaxy, but thousands of other NGC objects, much fainter things as well. So again, this is the Orion XD8 Plus Dobsonian Telescope. Thank you very much. Clear skies. If you're interested in buying one of these products, links to all the products mentioned in this video are in the description down below. If you like and found this video helpful, don't forget to give a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.